gosh, it's a new video from Gnarly Wolfman 88! Who? Boy, oh boy, we got a lot more to add after our find today. A little dark back there, but yeah. Let's see what we found board game hunting today. Ain't that right, guys? All right. Word it's Girl Talk! Oh my gosh, the outrageous stunts, fun secrets. This just screamed freaking old school. I know there was a lot of these type of games. Some of them I don't remember. Some of them I do. Everyone knows the Dream Phone. Stuff like that. But this one here, I'm like, oh my god. Gosh, just look at that. That just oozes. Oh my gosh. The game of truth or dare. Look at those glasses. Look at those outfits. Look at those expressions. Girl talk. From Milton Bradley. And for the most part, it was mostly all there. I think there missed me just maybe a couple of these. But again, how often am I going to actually play this? There's the year. Wow. Wild stunts and secrets to share, if you dare. Hee <laughs> hee. Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> In this game, you can play a Pippi Longstocking. And Dora. And... I feel like she looks like some character, but I don't know the name right now. And there you go. There's stuff there. You chickened out. Put a zit... Put on a zit sticker. You're the winner. Girl talk. Yeah. We were very excited about this fine Nerf Ping Pong. Nerf with their weird Nerf games. Look how much fun they're having. Yes. They tell you, real fast action table tennis, flexible paddles won't mar furniture? Adjustable, I almost said wet, fits most tables. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Nerf Ping Pong, because we have like another Nerf type of game. There's all these sort of things we just saw the other day. Check out our uh, vintage toy stuff there we found. That's either up before this or after this video. Where we found another Nerf game, and it was Nerf Billiards Pool. And I was like, what? <laughs> but yeah. There's the back of the box for all you ladies and germs out there. And then, real quick, let's take a look inside just to show you. It's Nerf or nothing. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Green plastic. There's a little plastic Nerf paddle. And then there's the spongy balls I'm squeezing. Yeah, there you go. Man. Ever. Maneuver. Not to be confused with manure. That's a totally different game. Recommended by Games Magazine. Holy sheep, you know this is the game of games. The scheming game of getting it all together. What? What? <laughs> Look at this game. Move your marbles into three lines or more to win, but block your opponent from doing the same. Okay, why not one of those weird little type of games like this? There we go, Mattel. Safety tested. There's the back to tell you exactly how to play it. We're going to go through that fast because then you won't watch our video on how to play it. And then this one, just because the design looked neat, looked like nice out. It was all something that I've never seen before. Decent price. Uh, we find a lot of neat games at this location. Like, there's a lot right here that you're seeing from all one location. And it was all there. Casino Pirate. And, yeah. All the pieces were there. And, again, just the design looked neat. Pirate stuff there. And it seemed like something you can have fun with. the whole family. We'll try it out sometime. And for only two bucks! The box is a little dinged up, but that is fine. Because, remember, two bucks. It was This was one of the colors that was 50% off. A child's first game, Candyland. Love the design, very pretty right here. I remember that as a kid, she was real pretty. And then he had like just the look of all these characters. He was always cool looking. She was cute. And this is the one that I remember growing up with, Candyland. And then of course there were characters in there that got replaced because of certain controversies. But this is the game of Candyland. All of it's there. Well, except for one little plastic player piece, but. I, I can just throw in anyone. Who wants to be a player piece for this game when we play it? You can count me in, love. 
I would gladly be a player piece. Ah, mm. uh, figure it out. I heard about this while looking through some games online, and I'm like, holy crap. I mean, what was weird about it? It's one of those things. It was the night before I was looking at this stuff and thinking about it. I'm like, wow, this goes for like 30 for like a good copy. And there it was! The game! He. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Look for your official figured out contestant form inside. Well, son of a bitch. There's the big head guy. And uh, it's missing, I think, just a few cards. But, I mean, there's a lot of cards. I don't know how often I'm going to play this. But it was pretty cool. Like, the next day we went, you know, looking. And there it was. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This At this location, I was like, oh, my gosh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Like, where are you finding these things? I was looking all over that. I'm like, I know. <laughs> so pretty nifty 1998 holy cow this will be fun to play hopefully that poor kid's face two player shut the box or skill and strategy star i think i remember seeing some of this back in the day a little one of the things there i have no clue what it is don't think i ever played it but i know of it and uh yeah cardinal games again them and their wooden games I mean, the little trademarks there. Why not? It was cheap. Also from that same location, my buddy found this. The Sneaky Snacky Squirrel Game. A game of strategy for sneaky squirrels. Are you a sneaky squirrel? I'm a sneaky squirrel. So if we're sneaky squirrels, we'll play this together, my friends. I don't know, it was cheap, but it looked cute. And the box is pretty neat. I don't know. Simple, you're gathering your acorn spinning stuff. And there's a neat little squirrel mechanism in there. We'll look at this later. And we're huge fans of Hive. We have the little baggy one there. And this is the bigger version of it. The bigger pieces. Cheap. We got it. So we couldn't say no to it. Fun game. And we'll be having fun with that on a later basis. And then why not? From Mario Barbati. Dungeon. Venture. Fantasy board game. Just look neat. Look at the art on that box. You got Red Sonia herself looking to really just wash a fool. You and looking good doing it. There's some lady sorceress and some guy sorceress in a hood. And some orcs. And a lizard guy. Remember him? Well, that's him all growing up now. Feel old yet? Feel tired of me reusing this? Hey, isn't he from Lord of the Rings? Oh my gosh, a Nicholas Cage's Ghost Rider. Zuh. Mm. <laughs> so yes, the back of the box. Very, very wonderful, exquisite artwork. I mean, look how cool that is. I am just enjoying this a little. Hey, get back to this one. There we go. A little too much. You get angry at me for doing that. Skeletor? <laughs> yes, you called. <clears throat> oh goodness, <laughs> he looks cool. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's the Night Flyer. <laughs> I'm recognizing all of you. Uh, I don't recognize you though. That's probably why she's looking at me, kind of in a look. Sorry. To the back of the box, Skeletor again. So there you go, there's all the stuff there. It could be a fun thing. We'll try it sometime soon. Hey, get your foot out of my face. Unless you're into that. But anyway, hey yeah! Oh, oh. Look at her. She is going to get you. Okay, I know the for miniature okay, but where does uh come on, come on, demon. Come on, demon, not for resale. Well, thank heaven. There's the title, Dojo-kun. 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 So, they're, is this Japanese? Because it sounds like uh, they're talking very nicely with their little things they do and uh, for a dojo. But the box looked really neat. Let's turn it over and have some high yeah! Get the good style there. It's a long game, 90 minutes, but it was a cheap price. And it was sitting there. And we were just thinking, why it said, come on. So it's like, well, yeah, well, fine, we'll, we'll get you. 
Like, come on, get us. <laughs> come on. A lot of stuff there. A lot of stuff. We'll be playing it sometime. Yeah. Well, oh, some exciting games I got there. Very exciting. Yeah! You can have me booty, but be sure to uh, subscribe and uh, like this video. Gnarly Wolfman is awesome. Also, um, leave me chest alone.